This is Brickhead Boy, and I got my package today from AliExpress. It came in simple packaging for 32 USD. So here it is opened up. 10 bags plus a base plate. This is the infamous Enlightened set. Set 1021. 568 pieces, 7 fighters. It looks like a castle. Eagle Castle. And before I go on, just want to say Enlightened's been around for quite some time. Very infamous for bootlegging exact Lego sets to the exact detail or very close. So, after some time, Enlightened started making their own sets. So, they're not really a bootleg anymore, they're just a knockoff. And this castle wasn't produced by Lego. Well, anyways, let's get started. Here is the set finished. Those are your four eagle figs, three lions, you got your two horses, the extra pieces here, an instruction book. Let's take a glimpse at the picture. It looks like the king has held ransom, has handcuffs, and these soldiers are about to rescue him. Now let's open it up. What I liked about this is when there are large base plates, it shows you right here, 6x6, six 8x8, six, eight eight. so instruction book is really helpful when it comes to finding those pieces and determining which ones to use. But I give props to Enlighten on that one. So let's dive in to the lions. So here it comes the wheeled catapult and something to launch, you have a brick. You have your king and two knights. Let's take a look at these. Here they are without helmets and armor. You can take a look at the facial expressions, all different, and the printings are very, very good. So good that the printings I would consider Lego quality. The minifigs themselves are not. Here's a closer look at the cape. You can see printing on that. Armor is really crisp, clear. And the horse as well, it's really clear, the printing, except you can feel the plastic being a little bit cheap on the cheap side. So those are the lions. Next up are the eagles. Here are your four eagle minifigs without their helmets and armor. Take a look at the printing too, just like the others. Very nice and clear. I like the added effect on the weapon here. That little piece, something I haven't seen yet. And there's your horse, and here's another look at them. One thing I found wrong with this guy is to flip the visor up, it kind of gets stuck, and it's hard to flip. So there he is with the visor up, and he's unarmed. Up next is the castle. So here it is, let's do a 360 view. Now let's start with the front, you have a tree. You have uh, three shields and two, these are actually molds of a Lego Bionicle mask, but they're on here. And you have a secret entrance or exit opens up, leading to a stairway. Here's another mask. And this castle uses no stickers whatsoever, so everything you see are printed brick. Very nice. So going back to this side, you have a fireplace, which the door does rotate around to reveal a skeleton. But I noticed this door is kind of gets stuck a little bit. Moving on top, you have two weapons there. And on this tower, you have a catapult, which can rotate a 360. Now 
Now going to this side, you have a holding cell on here. Prison. And you have a trap door on top. Pull the pin. Eh, that didn't work. So I guess there you go. There's your trap door. And as you go on top, you have a watchtower here. Let's take a look at the back. Going back down on this side, there's also an entranceway right here. This pops open, kind of hard to open. Got it. Anyways, from the entra the secret entranceway, there's stairs leading up here. And on the main side, you have this pin. You pull it, and that comes out. And on this side of the tower, just an empty space. As you go up, there's a treasure chest with some gold coins. And there's your skeleton. Up on here, it's just an empty side of the tower. So really, the back side is just bland. Not much to it. Let's turn it around again. So here's the front with the doors open and the barrel out. And let's do a last look at the castle. And now to conclude my review, the quality of these bricks are exactly as I remember from the Century Military series and the Train series. After I got those series, the new series, which were the Combat Zones, they were actually worse. So Enlighten went from very good to okay to very good again. For the most part, most pieces stayed well. There were just a few, maybe a couple, that had a little bit lower clutch, but no problems whatsoever with them sticking. The build was really fun, and there's a few pieces here that LEGO does not have. For instance, these pieces, as you can see, those are uh, enlightened molds. I haven't seen them in any other uh, building blocks at all, except enlightened, but, I mean, other companies never seen that before so for the price uh, 32 dollars with free shipping very good deal for this castle it's a shame though with enlighten they've been around a lot longer than um, other chinese companies but yet star diamond and goody are way better quality or lego quality and enlighten hasn't really reached that point yet so don't get me wrong enlighten have pretty good bricks but not as good as those two and Enlighten, I would say, is better than Kogo. So, like I said, goodie blocks, you can get cheaper sets and better quality at AliExpress. But goodie doesn't make any castles, so Enlighten makes pretty decent castles. Give this a shot. Definitely worth it. This is Brickhead Boy. Thanks for watching.